Panorama is a very useful tool that helps you organize your work in Jira, whether you manage a single project, whole department, or just your own issues. Panorama provides a great overview of your work, while at the same time allows you to examine all the finer details too. Each panorama that you create is placed where you are able to carry out your whole work. Let's create one to see how it works. As you can see, there are three types of panorama that you can create. The first one is a project panorama that helps you manage a single project. Panorama imports all issues from the chosen project to the panorama you are building. Project panorama is always up to date with your Jira project. However, you cannot add issues from any other projects. The second one is also a project panorama, but you can choose multiple projects to be imported. Multi-project panorama helps you manage a few whole projects in one place. Again, as it's a project panorama, you cannot add any issues from other projects. The third option is a custom panorama. It's the most flexible option. You can use it for product management, sprint planning, prioritizing your backlog, or for any other purpose. We'll now create a custom panorama. The next step of the creation process is to name the panorama and set the permissions. Choose who can see and edit your panorama. Then you have to choose the hierarchy that will be applied to your panorama. Again, you have three options to choose from. Jira standard hierarchy is a choice for people who work on a hierarchy where Epic is the highest issue type and Subtask is the lowest, is the most popular choice. If you are a more advanced Jira user, you may want to have a custom hierarchy applied. It allows you to change the order of the issue types and add an issue type above the Epic or underneath a Subtask. The third option is to choose a hierarchy from a list of saved custom hierarchies. Each custom hierarchy is automatically saved and you can reuse it later. Having a new panorama created, you see that it's blank. To start using it, you should add issues from your projects. Let's assume that you want to create a panorama in which you'll be able to manage tasks from different teams that work on the same product. After opening the issue selector, look for specific issues from these teams. Team number one consists of developers and works entirely on your product, so you insert all of their issues into the panorama. Team number two is a team of testers that works on two different projects at the same time, so choose their issues that relate only to your specific project. And team number three consists of designers, but only one of them works with you. Add only her tasks from that team. Issues can be dragged and dropped or inserted using the buttons located above the search. With all the issues now added to Panorama, you can now structure them using tree hierarchy and folders. If you want to plan a feature or version releases, you can create a folder for each feature or version, move certain tasks underneath them, and then structure them however you like. If you added a new issue in Jira and you would like it to appear in your panorama, we have three options for you. Option number one. You can add issues from a project as a JQL node. Issues will be updated automatically with their structure mirroring the structure in Jira. Option number two. You can sync the parent issue or a whole folder and the synchronization works both ways. It means that if you add an issue to Panorama under a synced item, it will appear in Jira in the right place as well. The third option allows you to add the issues yourself from the issue picker. 
Each of these options works best in different scenarios, so you can choose what best works for you. Once you have organized your work into a meaningful structure, you can easily find the issues you need. See the big picture thanks to the aggregated progress or focus on the details. With easy tree navigation and embedded issue details view, you can update basic issue fields without leaving panorama. By having all your work in one place, you don't have to jump between many Jira tabs anymore. To get an even better overview of your work, you can use a grouping functionality. If you want to check the progress of the issues of each person working on your product, just group them by the assignee and status. There are multiple ways to group issues, hence you can easily track the ongoing work in different ways. We have also created a linking feature that allows you to see links connected to each issue. If you want to check what delays the issues with a status of to-do, you can add is blocked by in links and status in the grouping, and you'll have your answer. In order to competently and efficiently manage your product and have all relevant information available at a glance, you can customize columns to show all the issue fields you need. If you wish, you can customize and save your preferred panorama layout with columns, grouping and links settings applied to your needs and liking. Another convenient feature of panorama. When your work on the panorama is done, you can go back to the dashboard. At the top of the dashboard, you'll see a quick access section where we show you your recently visited panoramas. Underneath that, you can see either panoramas related to a certain project, if you came from it to the panorama, or a list of all your panoramas, if you came from the global context. Under the list of your panoramas or project-related panoramas, you will see a list of other panoramas on your instance. To quickly find the panorama, you can search or sort the table. After clicking on the panorama in the panoramas list, it will appear in the quick access section. You won't have to look for it again if you'd like to use it more often. All of these features make panorama a great tool for daily management work. Whether you are in charge of one project or several of them, manage a product or run a whole company, Panorama can make your work easier, smooth and more efficient.